Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with a book review for The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This has been all the rage on booktube lately and I am jumping on the bandwagon. I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 stars like pretty much everybody on booktube so I thought that I would come on here and gush my feelings. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> After the double murder of their parents by a fairy, twins Jude and Taryn find themselves orphans along with their older half fae sister named Vivi. Matic the fae who killed their parents whisks them off to fairy in order to live among the fae and be raised with them and they are shunned repeatedly because they are mortals. Soon the high king of fairy is to choose his successor out of the three sons that he has. Cardin who is the youngest of these six successors is very cruel and Jude's worst enemy. Jude is trying to make a name for herself in fairy. She quickly realizes that in order to make a name for herself, she is going to have to be as ruthless as the fairy themselves. So like I said, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. Everybody was telling me that I needed to read the book and that it was incredible and personally I'm always scared to pick up hyped books because I'm always afraid that I'm gonna hate them and then when I tell people that I hate them they're gonna be like, bye you're cancelled because you know cancel culture and all that jazz but I am so glad I finally picked this up because it is worth all the hype in my opinion. Right from the very first sentence, I was hooked on Jude and her story. I wanted to know more about Fairy and the Fae in general and how Jude and her siblings fit into that world. I think that the politics in this book are so interesting and I just wanted to know what was going to happen next and where the story was going to progress. Personally, I've always loved Holly Black's writing. I read the Spiderwork Chronicles when I was younger and I absolutely loved them. I just find her stories, especially her Fae stories, to be so like atmospheric and eerie and I just think she does such an incredible job with this genre. Is it a genre? I don't know. I think we're counting it. I think that the plot started off very slowly so I was very hesitant for the first like quarter of the book but it quickly picks up and it becomes so action-packed that I couldn't put it down and like I said I just needed to know what was going to happen next with Jude and all the characters and I just, ugh, I love them so much. I definitely think that the book is a very character driven story. I loved every single character in this book, even the ones that you are meant not to like. I found them so lovable. None of them are really likable but you just can't help but root for them and love them and just hold them so close and dear and just I want to like squish them all because I just love them so much. I think that Jude is such a strong female character I think that she developed so amazingly in this story. I love how she didn't take crap from any of the Fae and what they tried to throw at her. She was very headstrong and just you could tell how loyal she was to those who she cared about. Like many people, I started off hating Cardin because like the title says, he's cruel. He's not a nice person, Fae. He's not a person. But as the story progressed, like, I couldn't help falling for him and just rooting for his little annoying face. Like, I just wanted to kill him and punch him. But at the same time, I was like, my precious. If you've read the book, I guarantee you know what I'm talking about. I think he's a very complex character and I'm very excited to see in the next book where his character progresses to further. I just feel like there's so many directions his character could go and I'm just super excited to see where Holly Black takes it. I also just loved the secondary characters like Vivi was such an amazing older sister. I loved Taryn. I know a lot of people are gonna come for me but honestly I was here for her. I know she's a terrible little human being and she does not deserve anything but damn that girl got balls, that's all I'm gonna say. I loved Oak and Oriana. Oak is just adorable, like I wanna protect him at all costs. Oriana, like, I didn't like her at the beginning, but like, that was the point. And then that, that character development though, that little speech that she and Jude share, oh, my heart, I was here for it. And then I loved Bomb, Ghost, and Roach, and I'm really hoping that they're in the sequel. I also really liked Matic, and I'm pretty excited to see where his character goes in the next book because I have all these theories about where the storyline could progress, but I'm probably very wrong. 
I also loved how complex Taryn and Jude's relationship was. I just thought it was really interesting to see how both of them differed so vastly on how they wanted to fit into fairy and the people around them. The book also contains one of my favorite tropes, haters to lovers, so you know your girl was here for it. It had like everything I wanted in a book and I just loved it so much. I'm so excited for the sequel. I don't own it and like I need it in my life. So like I said in my most anticipated releases video, Sugar Daddies, hit me up buy me the book please because I need the Wicked King. I need to know what happens next. Alright guys, so that was my very rambly, probably made no sense review of The Cruel Prince. Let me know down below if you guys read it, what you thought of it. I'm sure you loved it. Let me know if you've read the sequel yet and if I need to get my hands on it and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!